Hey, it's Coach Reese. Today we're going to multiply and divide rational expressions. But before we go too far, we're going to remember what we did when we simplified rational expressions. We need to find our excluded values before we simplify. Before you cancel or reduce, remember we're going to find our excluded values. So we have a problem that's already in factored form. So now we're going to find our excluded values. Okay? We're going to look at our 5a squared because we can't have a 0 in the denominator. We're going to set 5a squared equal to 0. We're going to divide by 5. Divide by 5. We get a squared equals 0. We're going to take the square root. We're going to take the square root and we're going to get a equals 0. And then you're going to say no. a cannot be 0 because that would make my denominator equal to 0. We also have a minus 7 equals 0. We're going to add 7. Add 7. You're going to get a equals 7. And then you're going to say no. a cannot be equal to 7. Those are our excluded values. Okay? But here's what I want you to also look at now when we simplify. Okay? When we simplify... These are not in parentheses. They don't have an addition or subtraction sign near them. So I can reduce and say that 5 goes into 5 one time. 5 goes into 10 two times. Okay? And then we come over to this, and we look at this. I have a negative a and a positive a. I have a positive 7 and a negative 7. They're almost the same, except both signs are messed up. Make sure you understand that both signs, not just one, but both signs are messed up. They're different. They're opposite. This one is a negative. This one is a positive. This is a positive. This is a negative. It only works when both signs are opposite. What we do is we're going to factor out a negative one, and that will leave me with an a minus seven inside. Okay? When that happens, when that happens, these will now match up, they will be identical, and they can cancel. And then that will leave me with 2 times negative 1, which is a negative 2, and an a minus 10 in the numerator. In the denominator, all we have left is a squared. So this would be our simplified form, and these are our excluded values. Okay? Let's try another one. Okay, so this one's going to involve a little bit of factoring, okay? So on this situation, because we have an a value greater than 1, we're going to have to use the box method or a grouping method, okay? So we're going to jump in and we're going to say 3n squared, and this is a positive 72. And we're going to ask you to multiply those together, and you get... A positive 216. And since it's positive, we're going to add to find our combination. That 216 is too big of a combination. I don't know all my combinations. Okay? So if we go to our calculator, which I already did for us, let me go back and show you what we're going to do. Okay? Just to reinforce. If we go home, new. We're going to go to the graph mode. We're going to put in our number at 216. We're going to divide by x, and we're going to hit enter. We're not going to see anything on our graph screen, okay? But that's okay, because all we want to see is the table. We're going to say control T, and we're going to cursor down for a combination that adds up to 35, because our B value, our B term was 35. So we're going to cursor down, and we're going to get to 8 and 27. That's the combination we want to use. 8 and 27, because that's going to add up to the 35 we're talking about. So we'll put in 8 in. We're going to put in 27 in. I need to erase this and get this out of the way. We don't need it anymore. All right, so when we're looking for common factors, we have a n in common. We have a 9 in common. We have a 3 and an n in common, and we have an 8 in common. Those are our factors. But remember, 
This says the signs are the same, and they're both going to be minuses. So we're going to look at n minus 9, and we're going to look at 3n minus 8. I know factoring is not your favorite, but you're going to have to do it a little bit on these problems. Okay? When we factor it, this numerator, I mean the denominator, we're going to say the signs will be different. We're going to break down the n squared as n times n. And then we have a negative 45. And since it's a negative number, we're going to subtract to find our combination. And in this case, our combination will be 5 and 9 to speed this up. Because when you subtract, they're going to be 4 apart. We need this to be a negative 4, so the negative goes with the 9. So we're going to put the 9 right here by the minus sign, and we're going to put the 5 with the plus. Okay? On this, in the, in the numerator, we're going to have a 5 in common, and we're going to factor that out to be n plus 1. Okay? In this situation, we have a greatest common factor of 5. We're going to take out the 5. That will leave us with 3n squared minus 5n minus 8. Okay? But we're still, we need to factor, and our a, a value is greater than 1, so we have to use the box or grouping again. So we go over here, do a little box, okay? And we have 3n squared minus 8. We multiply 3 times negative 8, and it gives us a negative 24. Since it's negative, we're going to subtract. The combination we're going to use is 3 and 8, because when you subtract those, we will get a value of 5. But we need it to be a negative 5, so we're going to put a negative with the 8. So we're going to get a negative 8n. We're going to get a positive 3n. We will have just an n in common. We will have only the number 1 in common. We will have a 3 and an n in common and a negative 8 in common. So we're going to break down the 5. We have n plus 1 and we have 3n minus 8. There's factored. There's our factored form. So let me get this out of the way. We're going to use this. Okay, so this is why people hesitate to do these. They're not really jazzed about doing these. It takes a few steps to get here. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to find our excluded values. How do you find your excluded values? Anything that has a variable, we have to set it equal to zero, any expression. So we're going to ask you to say n plus 5 equals 0. Minus 5, minus 5, n equals a negative 5. And then you would tell me, no, that's an excluded value. n minus 9. So you would say n minus 9 equals 0, plus 9, plus 9, n equals 9. There's one of your excluded values. n, equals, n, n cannot equal 9. n plus 1. Minus 1, minus 1, n equals a negative 1. 3n minus 8. 3n minus 8 equals 0. Plus 8, plus 8. 3n equals 8. Divide by 3. n equals 8 over 3. But then you would say, no, it can't happen. So these are our excluded values. Okay? Now we're ready to simplify. You're allowed to reduce vertically, but now since it is multiplication, because it's multiplication, we're allowed to reduce diagonally. Okay? So my 3n minus 8 can cancel with this 3n minus 8. My n minus 9 can cancel with this n minus 9. My fives can cancel. My n plus one can cancel. Look what we have left. All we have left at the top 
Nothing's left at the top. So we can't leave a void in the numerator, so we have to say the number one. And what's left in the denominator is n plus five. There's your simplified form. And all these are our excluded values. Okay? All right, let's go to division. All right, so division, you were taught probably before you even got to algebra that we don't divide fractions. We multiply by the reciprocal, okay? So we're gonna change this to a multiplication problem real quick, all right? So what I want you to do is we're gonna write it like this. We're gonna say eight n minus 72 over n minus two, change that to multiplication, and we're going to flip the second fraction. This will be n plus 2 over 8n minus 72. Okay? Now, you have to be careful. You cannot get in a hurry because we still have to factor and we still have to find our excluded values. Now, I know these match up and it's very tempting, but you need to factor and find excluded values. So in this situation, we're going to have an 8 in common. We're going to factor out the 8, and this is going to be n minus 9. We're going to factor out the 8, and this will be n minus 9. Okay? Now, here is the special thing you need to understand. When we're doing division problems and you're finding your excluded values, you have to use this denominator, this denominator, and you must, must use that numerator. You have to use all three spots to find your excluded values. Most people get in a hurry, they forget to think about this, and they do not include this other spot. So you have to set these equal to zero. So we're gonna say, over here we're gonna say n minus two equals zero. We're gonna add two, and we're gonna get n equals two, we're gonna say, there's an excluded value. N cannot be 2. We're going to go to the denominator. Okay. We don't need the 8 because there's not a variable involved. We need the N minus 9. So we're going to say N minus 9 equals 0 plus 9 plus 9. N equals 9. N cannot be 9. Okay. And then we're going to use what's in the numerator. We're going to say n plus 6 equals 0, minus 6, minus 6, n equals a negative 6. There's your last excluded value. You must use all three places to determine your excluded value. Okay? All right, now it's time to simplify. Obviously, obviously, these are going to cancel. They were identical. They're gone. What are we left with? We're left with n plus 6 over n minus 2. And if you remember your rules from simplifying rationals, I'm not allowed to reduce this anymore. This plus sign holds this together. This minus sign holds this together. We're not allowed to reduce the n's. We're not allowed to reduce the 6 and the 2. This is our simplified form, and these are our excluded values, okay? All right, let's try one more. All right, so look what we have. We have a division problem, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change it to a multiplication problem, okay? So to speed this up, let's see if I can do to speed this up, I'm going to change this to multiplication, and I'm going to say 15 minus 9m minus 6m squared, we're going to flip this fraction, we're going to say 2m squared minus 4m minus 30, okay? So we have just taken care of that, we have changed it to multiplication, and we have flipped our fraction. Now we need to factor, find excluded values, and then simplify, okay? So look what we have to work with. I have a greatest common factor of 4m squared.
squared. This will leave me with m plus 3. In this situation, look what I have. I still have to factor, but this may end up being one of those special situations that we had at the beginning of the problem. I mean, our first example. Look at this. I have a positive 6m squared. I have a negative 6m squared. I have a positive. I have a negative. I have a negative. I have a positive. Every one of my signs are opposites. So in that situation, I would factor out a negative 1 and they would be identical. Okay? Just like in the very first example we did. So I'm going to factor out a negative 1. And then these two are going to be identical. This is going to be a positive 6m squared. This will be a positive 9m. And this is going to be a negative 15 when I factor that out. Now I just can't cancel these. Why? Because we have to factor and find excluded values. Okay? Alright, so let's go over here. Let's go ahead and find this. If we factor this, we have also factored that. So we don't have to do it twice. Okay? I have a 3 in common. That's going to leave me with m squared plus 3m minus 5. So I'm going to factor this. I'm going to keep the 3. I'm going to go to two parentheses. This says my signs are going to be different. We're going to break down the m squared as m times m. We're going to break down, we have to, this is a 15, sorry. No, that's fine. That's a 2. Oh. Okay, well, we got a little ahead of myself. I didn't go, 3 goes into 6 two times. This is not fun. This means, sorry about that, we're going to have to use the box method again. Not a fan favorite, okay? But we have to factor out this using the box method. So we're going to go 2m squared, negative 5. When we multiply, we get a negative 10. The combination we're going to use is 2 and 5. Because when we subtract, there'll be 3 apart. We need it to be a 3, but we need it to be a positive 3, so we're going to put the positive with the 5. So that's going to be a positive 5m. That's going to be a negative 2m. Okay? So we're going to factor, and we're going to have an m in common. We'll have a negative sign in common, and a 1. We're going to have a 2 and an m in common, and a 5. So when we factor, we're going to have 3 parentheses, m minus 1, 2m plus 5. So there we go. That's what we have. Let's get this out of the way so we can look at our problem. The thing is, these are identical. So if this is going to be 3, m minus 1, 2m plus 5. All we have to do is factor this one. Deep breath. You have a 2 in common. That leaves you with m squared minus 2m minus 15. We factor this. Let's move this up a little bit. We factor this into 2. Signs are different. We break down m squared as m times m. And we break down the negative 15 again as 3 and 5 because when we subtract, we need to get a combination of 2. We need it to be a negative 2, so we put a negative with the 5. So now, take a deep breath. We've done all of our factoring. Okay? And obviously, we can't do too many problems like this on the test, or you won't have time to do very much. Okay? So we can't beat you up too much with this stuff. But we do need to find our excluded values. 
and remember the rules. Denominator, denominator, numerator. But these two are exactly the same, so they're going to be the same. You don't have to do it twice. So we're going to go over here and we're going to say m minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 m equals 1. There's one excluded value. 2m plus 5. Minus 5, minus 5, 2m equals negative 5, divide by 2, m equals a negative 5 over 2. No, there's another excluded value, m plus 3. Now you're going to get good at this and you won't have to do it this slowly, m equals 3, m minus 5. Plus 5 plus 5, m equals 5. No, there's an excluded value. Those are your four excluded values. So now, finally, it's time to simplify. What do we have in common? Well, let's see. Obviously, all of this is going to be gone. That's gone. That's gone. Okay? I have an m plus 3. I have an m plus 3. I have, what do I have left? I have a four on the outside and I have a two on the outside. Two goes into two one time, two goes into four two times. So I have a two, an m squared, and a negative one. That will leave me with negative two m squared, negative two m squared in the numerator, in the denominator, cancel, cancel, cancel. All I have left is an m minus 5. There's your simplified answer. There are all your excluded values, but this is your simplified answer. Does this take some time? Yes. Be patient, okay? And like I said, we can't give you very many of these, but we are going to give these to you, and you're going to have to be able to do this, okay? All right, do your best. Don't get frustrated. It's okay. Let us know if we can help you. Good luck.